welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is rachel and in today's video i'm going to be diving into what my skincare routine looks like it's not necessarily complicated but some of the products aren't simple my skin isn't simple so i'm gonna try and shed some light on what's going on with my skin and hopefully it can help someone out there in the universe because I have certain problems with my skin that I don't necessarily see all the time on social media or YouTube or anything. And if I do find anything on it, no one has it on their face. No one is black. I don't know. It's just hard for me to find stuff for my face sometimes. So I wanted to go into my skincare routine and show you guys what I use that could potentially help you as well. Okay, so first thing I do before I start my skincare routine is I put my hair up because um, nobody's getting all of this wet. So I'm just gonna put my hair up really quick and then put on my headband. All right, so now that that's done and I look like a monkey, I am going to wash my hands. Please make sure you wash your hands before you put them on your face because your fingers are nasty. So clean all that off before you try and clean your face. Okay, so now my hands are all washed. And before I get into the skincare routine, I just want to explain what's going on with my skin personally. So I have what's known as keratosis pilaris, or some people just call it KP. It usually happens on like the back of the arms and stuff like that. It can pretty much go anywhere. And I think I have it on my back and my face. So what's going on with my skin is that my skin is so dry, so severely dry, that what happens is dead skin cells get built up in the pore and it kind of causes these, what seems like a pimple, but isn't necessarily a pimple. It's just a bunch of dead skin under the surface. So what I have to do in order to combat that issue is hydrate like crazy inside and out remember to drink your water and I also have to exfoliate so I have some products in here that help with hydration moisturization and exfoliation so that's normally what I have to I have to incorporate products that are like that to really exfoliate my face make sure that the skin doesn't build up on itself and to also hydrate it so that it doesn't flake as much and then also cause buildup so firstly what I do is I go in with this uh, hyaluronic acid cleanser and this is pretty much just a moisturizing cleanser hyaluronic acid what it does is that it bonds to water I believe and so unfortunately I live in Arizona usually it takes moisture from the air but because it is so dry here if I don't use it properly it'll take moisture from my skin so I have to make sure that when I'm using hyaluronic acid I use it properly and have you know water on my face so it has something to bind to and actually help me instead of harm me so normally I go in with the cleanser and I'm just gonna wet my face really quickly and and then gently massage it in for a minute. Now I just use, what do you use, like a dime size amount. Ooh, okay, something like that, maybe a little more. And then I just start scrubbing away. Okay, so after I have rubbed it in and scrubbed my face enough, I rinse it off. So I'm just gonna rinse this off really quickly. So after I have rinsed off my cleanser, I just take a towel, which I'm not supposed to do, and, and I just pat dry. Okay, once I'm dry, I use my glycolic acid by The Ordinary. Also, all my products are The Ordinary and Inky List. They're the cheapest and I think they work the best. So what glycolic acid is supposed to do for your face is a chemical exfoliant. So what I'm trying to do here is exfoliate all the dead skin off so that it can't build up anymore and also reveal the dead skin that's under, creating all my texture and hopefully it will smooth out my skin. I've only been using it consistently for like a week. So I'm gonna need more time to actually see results and I mean so far I think it's okay I have a couple of breakouts but so you can't necessarily tell but I think the texture has gotten a little bit better since I've used it but obviously you can't know that for sure until it's been like three months so I just take a little cotton round and I put a few drops of toner and normally you're supposed to do this at night because obviously it's a chemical exfoliant and makes your skin very sensitive but I needed the lighting so we're doing this during the day. Then I just go in only on my like problem areas, which is my cheek. I get it on my jawline right here, my lip, definitely my nose. I do think it has helped with sebaceous filaments that are on my nose. I kind of create that white head kind of look. And I don't, I try not to go on to my eyes, like right here. That's very, very thin skin. It's not good for your eyes. So 
Just put this everywhere. Not everywhere. I don't go on my forehead because I don't think my forehead is terrible. So I don't want to put it anywhere unnecessarily. I get it on the corners of my nose, top lip. And then I bring it down to my neck too because I have some texture there. Okay. Now you can pretty much rinse off the acid off of your fingers. Sometimes it's not really good to keep that stuff on because it is an exfoliant, so you should probably wash your hands afterwards. I'm gonna let it soak in really quickly, absorb into my skin. So it's pretty much dry. I'm gonna splash a little bit of water on my face. And then I use my hyaluronic acid serum. And this is why the water on my face is important, I think. I'm not obviously a dermatologist, but I just use this and this is what hydrates my face. I heard it really works well when paired with glycolic acid because obviously glycolic acid is gonna cause your face to, you know, flake and all that stuff because it's an exfoliant. So this will put the moisture back into your face as it's being exfoliated. Bring it down to my neck. Now sometimes that one is the ordinary hyaluronic acid, but the hyaluronic acid that I used to use was the inky list hyaluronic acid but that one for some reason leaves a really weird film on my face and it kind of like it peels off as if it's a like layer a small thin layer of glue so i really like the ordinary's hyaluronic acid better sometimes i use this little thing when i'm desperate or running low so now once i am done using the hyaluronic acid serum i go in with my polyglutamic polyglutamic one of those i go in with that to seal it all in because this and this is also a really good primer for makeup it really gives you kind of that glass smooth skin that you're looking for as a base so i just take a couple of little dots and then i just pat to seal all that in And also a side note, I wanted to um, talk about the Ordinary AHA BHA peeling solution, this red one. I think it's literally everywhere. People see it all the time. And this is the face mask that I used to use. I don't know if it's okay to use that with glycolic acid because glycolic acid, you're only supposed to use a couple times, like two, three times a week maybe. And I don't know if I wanna use that as well in combination with it because it might be a lot and I don't wanna melt my skin barrier off my face. So. This is a face mask that I used to use, which it works really well, but I wanted something that I could use on a more consistent basis that I think will really dig in. Every time I use the peeling mask, it makes me feel like I have a new layer of skin, like a, a new face. But I'm taking a break off of that right now. I'm trying to see if this glycolic acid will really do the trick when it comes to my texture, and hopefully it does. And then lastly, and the most important step, before you walk out the house, actually you don't even have to walk out the house, as long as you have a window open, sunscreen this is what i put on my face i use the black girl sunscreen spf 30 and i take a huge glob of that and put that all over my face and neck and chest and back because i also use the glycolic acid on my back and i don't want to burn if i step outside and perfect you can also put it on your hands as well which i recommend because you don't want old lady fingers so some sunscreen on your hands while you're at it. Now, I don't I don't know if you would consider this skincare. This is just what I do every morning. I'm a little lump of love. Don't jump on me. This is just what I do in the morning. I've been trying this new eyelash serum out. It's Terra's in honor. Terra's in honor? Terra's, whatever it is. I have started using this to hopefully grow my lashes and also my eyebrows. I, of course, saw it on TikTok, and it was also the cheapest one that I, I saw that had pretty good reviews. It was only 20 bucks on Amazon. Thought I might give it a try. But just know the effects of this stuff. Pretty much any eyelash serum or anything like that can have pretty bad effects, including irritation on the eye. It's I think it's like optical fat loss. You can lose fat around your eye. You could get styes and all this stuff, but um, obviously I don't care. I want to try it out. I haven't had any negative effects so far but I'm um, also only have been doing this for like a week that is pretty much the entirety of my skincare routine okay everyone that was my skincare routine I hope you enjoyed if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you want to see any of my other content just make sure to hit the subscribe button also check out any of my social media I have them all linked and also in the intro and the outro of this video I hope that you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next one bye Thank you.